Welcome, everybody. Uh, we are so excited to start a brand new series uh, with you on my new book called Feel Better Fast and Make It Last, Unlock Your Brain's Healing Potential to Overcome Negativity, Anxiety, Anger, Stress, and Trauma. It's based on this idea that I've been thinking about a lot as a psychiatrist. Um, it's so many people who come to see us or who you work with, right. they engage in behaviors that help them feel better now, but not later, right. versus now and later. Right. And I can think of so many things that I've done personally we'll talk about as we go in the past. And we do that because we want to put Band-Aids on something to make it, you know, we, we have to sometimes or we think we have to. So what can we well, do Well, you instead? were actually talking about licking Oreos. <laughs> <this laughs> what if that's not how you feel better? I was talking about when I was a trauma nurse. <laughs> what, what did that have to do? There was a survey. Now you have to explain. I do not lick Oreos now. There was a survey. We were at an event, a marriage retreat, and they asked this question. They took a survey on how do you eat Oreos. And the way I used to eat Oreos didn't even come up, which is really weird. They said, do you bite them? Like, do you take little bites and eat it slowly? Do you eat them all at once or do you dunk them in milk? And I'm like, wait, wait, what happened to breaking them open and licking out the center? That's how I used to eat them. Does no one else eat them that way? Because that's how I used to eat them. So Oreos is clearly one of the was, feel oh, better as now, a kid, but not like. Oh, I was, I had my comfort foods as a kid growing up, had to have my comfort foods. Versus Nutty Butter Cups. Right. Which is one of your recipes uh, based on Brain and Love chocolate. Right. And almond butter. Right. Um, that is feel better now and later. Right. So, anyways, um, if you pre order the book at Feel Better Fast, Dot com. We'll actually give you four free gifts. You'll get the intro and the first chapter of Feel Better Fast immediately, you know, before the book is out. Our Feel Better Fast Quick Start Guide. Get a jump um, with easy to follow tips. A Feel Better Fast audio series uh, for powerful hypnosis tracks, chronic pain, sleep, lose weight, calming stress, and we'll actually give you a downloadable version of Tana's brand new book, The 10 Day Brain Boost. Talk about feeling better fast. Yep. Uh, Food is a huge part. No question. Yep. Food is a huge part. And, um, and we want to make it easy. So I just want to, because I actually spent a lot of time uh, on the opening of the book. And what I say in the book is virtually all of us have felt anxious, depressed, traumatized, grief-stricken, or hopeless mm -hmm. at some point in life. It's normal to go through hard times or experience periods when you feel panicked or out of sorts. How you respond to these challenges makes all the difference in how you feel, not just immediately, but in the long run. All of us quickly want to stop the pain, me included. Unfortunately, many people self-medicate with energy drinks, overeating, alcohol, drugs, risky sexual behavior, angry outbursts, mm -hmm. wasting time on mindless TV, video games, or shopping. And although these substances give you temporary relief from feeling bad, they usually only prolong and exacerbate the problems or cause more serious ones energy crashes, obesity, addictions, STDs, unhappiness, relationship problems, or financial ruin. And so the idea is how do you begin to make good decisions so that you feel better now and later? Like this. Yeah, like <laughs> rubbing the back of my neck. That helps me Maybe feel, you better feel better now. Fast. <laughs> and later and what we're going to talk about because it does it gives you a boost of you know it gives you that little endorphin boost that little dopamine drip that you talk about but it makes you feel better it makes me feel better it's an investment for later right it's, but people don't think about it well and we're going to talk about coming up um, a, te a new technique I have in this book called the ultimate brain-based therapy um, which is how you can feel better fast 
by flooding all five mm. of your senses mm. at once with happiness. So what are some of the behaviors you used to engage in? Okay, so I was a trauma nurse, worked in a level A trauma unit. And when they put me on, so we often had to work double shifts. So tw like be 20 hour shifts sometimes. That's really hard in a unit that, that that's that chaotic. Wow. And then they put me on nights and you'd have to work 20 hour shifts. So you start at 6.30 at night and you have to go 20 hours. You want to talk about crazy. So you have to get home and go to sleep immediately, but it's morning. Okay. So it's really hard and you can't make your brain shut off sometimes that fast. And then you got to go back. So a lot of the nurses, that's why you see nurses that are that so unhealthy. That sounds dangerous. It is. It is dangerous. I was so scared I was going to kill someone because you make a medication error and it happens all the time. And so, I mean, I would pray so hard like that I wouldn't, and I would, and I'd be just, just willing myself to sleep, but you can't. So, so many nurses will take sleeping pills and they end up getting hooked on medication because of this. They'll take sleeping pills. They start drinking in the morning to try to go to sleep. And I remember I actually took, um, there was one point I actually had Ambien prescribed because I'm like, I can't not sleep. And I had a baby too. So I'm like, what am I going to do? Right? So this is not, this is a big problem. I took Ambien. I woke up the next morning feeling really wonky. Like I can't, I, I was like, I don't know. I didn't put it together that it was the Ambien, but I felt really weird, like weird, not good, weird, bad, weird. And I didn't, Put together that it was the ambient i felt a little down took it again the next day because i'm like i have to sleep and so woke up the next day and was crying uncontrollably and then i put together that it was the ambient but that's a perfect example but we had nurses that would drink during the day we had nurses that would they'd comfort eat and eat donuts all day long i mean i started eating m m's in the middle of the night just to stay awake just to make sure that i could actually pay attention to what i was doing but these are typical behaviors that when you're in certain situations you're it's like it's it's acute. You have to do something, but we automatically reach for the something that is the band aid rather than it's over the bullet hole, right? We're not actually doing something that's going to help us long term. It's not going to, it's not a cure. And so I, for me, I realized I don't care what I have to do. I have to find a different job. I had to find a different unit to work on. As much as I loved working in trauma, it wasn't worth it. It was not worth not being a good mom. It was not worth not being healthy. <coughs> and it was not worth almost killing somebody. So that's a great example. Yeah. Uh, someone I wrote this book for. Mm -hmm. And in it, I actually opened the book with a story that I've told a couple of times, but it just fits so well. Mm -hmm. The story of Chris, who lost her 12 year old daughter, Sammy, mm -hmm. to bone cancer. And the grief was so yeah. intense. And actually, and we'll talk about it. I take on grief in this book. The grief was so intense, she went to bed and ate and ate bad food and drank alcohol, basically drank herself into a stupor. Right. And, and so she was doing the same behaviors for a different reason. Hers was grief. Hers was grief. And on her five foot two frame, ballooned over 200 pounds. And on the two year anniversary of Sammy's death, despite being married and having three other children, wow. she'd secretly planned to kill herself. And then um, I think she saw me on television and for my book, Change Your Brain, Change Your Body. And she said, I'm going to get that book. And if it's a bad book, I'll kill myself mm. tomorrow. She told me <laughs> that. So like completely <laughs> freaked me out. And But she just did everything I asked her to do, what I'm going to ask you to do um, as we go through this series. And she said, within eight days, she felt better. Um, she started, you know, she stopped alcohol, she stopped the bad food, um, she ate better, she started to run, and within eight days, she didn't wake up in a panic anymore. There's a really important, there's a really important reason why these strategies are, well, there's a really important reason why these strategies are so important. No, why it's critical, um, is because... People, it sounds like it's, oh, well, that's simplistic. If I stop doing this and start doing that, it's going to make me feel better fast. No, it's true. When when people have thoughts that are suicidal, like we just saw a star is born, right? And it was so sad, so sad. But when people are having thoughts that are suicidal, I mean, as a nurse, as a doctor, you've seen this repeatedly. Um, it's hard to explain to other people, but... When you're doing things like taking Ambien, how I had that depressive, those depressive thoughts, and they were uncontrollable, or you're drinking like that, or you're not sleeping and you're engaging in these behaviors, you're having those thoughts. Those thoughts might not even be there without those behaviors. 
right? It exacerbates whatever is there. It makes it so much worse. But if you stop those behaviors, those thoughts actually often go away. Sometimes it's, it's, they're brought on by those behaviors. No question. So, and so it clearly made um, Chris worse. And by engaging in the right behaviors, oh, I met her 10 weeks later where she was already down 24 pounds. Mm -hmm. And she felt a zeal for life. That fast. And in the book, I have a mnemonic, I do that, um, and it's Brain XL. So this book is really centered around Brain XL. What's that? So the B is you have to get your brain right. And so we talk about avoid things that hurt it, do things that help it. We'll go through those strategies. The R is rational mind. Um, you have to direct your mind, discipline your mind to help you rather than hurt you. A is attachments and how, you know, when our relationship is great, we just feel happy. Right. And when, it, when your relationships are not great, it's the thing that causes people the most pain. Mm -hmm. I is inspiration. And we're going to talk about the dopamine drip or the dopamine dump. Uh, N is nutrition, uh, which is Tana's expertise. Um, X is what the X factor. What have we learned from imaging that can help you feel better fast? And L, the reason you do this is not because you should. It's because you love yourself. Um, so as we go through this series on feel better fast and make it last, we're going to dive into each of the Brain XL areas to help you feel better fast. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. Use the code PODCAST10 to get a 10% discount on a full evaluation at amenclinics.com or on our supplements at brainmdhealth.com. Thank you for listening to the Brain Warriors Way podcast. Go to iTunes and leave a review and you'll automatically be entered into a drawing to get a free signed copy of the Brain Warriors Way and the Brain Warriors Way cookbook we give away every month.